Hello, Chef Jack. This is me, Maya Chef Jack. And me, Nicholas Mello. Hello, Nicholas Mello. Well, we have to work on this box. Now, I will just quickly give him the hands that will make him more poseable at the hands. And while he is drying, I will show you ways how to use a small box for your doll eyes. And yes, it's going to be 112 scale. Fit in your luggage easily, especially if you have a small one. Or maybe you live in a small house or apartment that doesn't have much space for doll houses. Well, today's the day I show you how to make a small box where you can use it as a dollhouse for doll photography and for doll stop motion animations and videos it's going to be 112 scale it's going to fit in a small luggage and everything and it will be pink Nicholas Mello now has new hands, however they have to dry and to be painted to his skin tone. Also had to glue them. Have to wait for the glue to dry before I can paint them. And I will save the finished hands for the end of the video. So let's let Nicholas Mello dry and let's work on the box doll highs. Hello, I'm Astrid Face. Since today we're making a 112 scale small box doll highs, I will be the reference for the doll high scale thank you Astrid Fizz we're going to start with opening the box up so Astrid Fizz we're going to need you again so it is kind of well Astrid face ever since she got her head joint it is a little bit small for her let's see it with a Shopkins doll the Shopkins shoppies well I can photograph at certain angles but it's still a little bit short Let's try strawberry shortcake. Uh, not going to work for strawberry shortcake. But this is just referencing it for if you want to use your own 112 scale dolls with it. That's the thing to know. But it's perfect for the LOL surprise dolls for reference, just so you know. Astrid Fist can still do it. She originally was shorter and had the basic five points of articulation. However, I prefer this level of 
articulation she has right now. We want the 112 skill badge to fit in it for the doll, but also be able to use it as something else as well as bed so going to trace around where I want to cut this piece and we're going to cut out a bed to cut it a little bit more and stitch those pieces and attach it to the wall I don't know why but I really like to draw cherries so let's put it on the wall it's going to have lots of pink in it, so I'm just warning you, if you don't like the color pink, you will not like this video, but it's my favorite color, so it is my taste, but if you don't like the color, you can just watch something else. more art for the walls and now let's see the bed with Astrid Fizz once it's on the wall more of a sofa now it doesn't work as a bed but let's make it a sofa instead she doesn't fit in it, maybe it can be a table for her. She can just use the floor as a seating area. And maybe you can turn this table into an artwork table. But to prove that this is a table, I'm going to stitch it. It's stitched so it's done and if she's going to stand up it's hard for her because of her size and, hmm. maybe I'll make the box a little bit taller I've made the box a little bit Taller, however, I'm going to keep it small for the point that I can show others that doll houses can work for small houses or with limited luggage space or anything like that. And this area can be used for a chair. I may make an extension for a bed or something. Extension for a bed. Let's try it. Stitch this piece. However, I have to mark where I'm going to put press studs so the bed is removable, like it can be switched around. Cause after all, the doll house will be made for travel and small houses. Put the press that here and here. And this is the bed extension. 
of the chair. Shop can shoppies depending on their hair. They have really big heads, the Shopkins shoppies though, may not hold up their heads very well. Let's try Strawberry Shortcake. Same thing, you may want to make it wider if you're doing it for Shopkins doll or Strawberry Shortcake. Sparkle Girls Minis, that's Astrid Fizz, works for her, I'm intending to make this room for Nicholas Mello, I ever, Nicholas Mello is still the same scale and size as Astrid Fizz because he uses the same body and lol surprise dolls. It works for the minis. Just testing it out. Going from bed to chair is very, very easy. Just do the press start if you want the bed and undo it for the chair, but for the bed if it's uneven. Some people may not mind, but if you mind that, you can always make a mattress to cover that up. Looks more realistic, like right? a real bed with a mattress. But however, these walls are a little bit folding in all directions. You may want to fold the cardboard a little bit so it holds its shape, especially for the photographs. But I want the box to be still able to close. So the press start bed actually is a good idea if you want multiple rooms multiple stop motion animation scenes without a huge box taking up a lot of room or if you are traveling and your luggage that is allowed on the airplane and the space in your luggage is limited so that's good for these reasons I made the mattress too short but that's okay because I was going to make a pillow anyways so I think I want to give it a flower shaped pillow and how to make a flower shaped pillow going to start with cutting the pattern like this on a piece of fabric I'll need two pieces of this all facing the rough side and cut until you get the flower shape I did have to alter the shape a little bit but it's fine and when you're at the rough side of it Stitch all around it, but leave a small gap for the stuffing to go in. Once that is stitched, now I flip it to the other side. Done. Now I stuff it up and seal it. And once it's sealed up, I'm going to stitch it to the mattress. Unless you want the pillow to be removable. I don't really care for 
removable pillows on the beds. As long as the bed sheet can work the way it's supposed to, so yep, you may want to do it separately if you prefer the removable pillow. Everybody has their own preference, but I'm going to stitch it. Sorry if you prefer the removable pillow, it's just me. I tried a flower pillow, but right now it doesn't look like a flower. But if I add detailing, it will. So, we will use these markers to color it. The bed has been colored and I've also added a tiny shelf still small enough for the dollhouse to be able to close when you were not using it and it's a really good scale for Nicholas Mello he was one of the Sparkle Girls minis that I've made him into a custom doll. And while we're storing away the bed, now it can also be a dining table for him. But what about the table? Well... For the chair, here is a press stud. I have an opposite press stud, a spare opposite one to this one. So, I'm going to make a frame for the chair to complete it. However, it will be foldable. And... It will also be multifunctional. In keeping of the pink theme, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard. Sorry, Nicholas, we have to work. Anyways, we need to measure it out. And I'm going to mark the area to cut it out with a pencil so let's say I want to cut it here and I have to feel around for the other area so this is where going for that so now it's time to cut it once you've marked the measurements. And here we have it. Another step. Stitch the press stud on. But before you do that, you want to mark another area. Where to you? with a pencil so I could rub it out later. I've marked this area for the press stud. Time to stitch it on. Once you've cut it, test it. You don't have to do a design like this. It's optional, but I'm choosing to do it. So... The test isn't optional in this, but the design is, so I've tested it out, and it fits! However, it would work better if I stitched that on. I'm planning to do it anyways. It's stitched on now, can I take this down? The answer is Yes, but I have this. Maybe I'll find a way 
to cover it up with a rug or something but if you don't want to do a rug but you still don't want to show this I can just angle the camera away from it like the camera on my phone like angle it like this or this just away from it Can I still use the bed? Well, the answer to that is yes. However, this frame has to be folded away in order for the bed to work with this. I've decided to give it a countertop option. However, there's unevenness showing, but you can always just angle away the camera from it. And what about folding it? We may have to do a bit of folding in order for it to work. I'm demonstrating how it's done. However, for the closure of it, I think I need a press start somewhere. Press that. Let's stitch it here and here. And then I've gave it some detailing. Here we have an oven that opens. I hadn't finished the detailing, but maybe I'll do the cherries. And I'll do here some red pineapple. But here the oven can open. It looks like the wood, but I can always change that and make it look more like an oven. Because I want this to kind of look realistic but in a fun way I have added a small pink table why? I want to give this area more character I ever giving Nicholas Mello more space in the kitchen just so he has enough to move around and cook in this kitchen. And about those red pineapples that are cubed pineapples, I've decorated the countertop with them. And I kind of want this table to match it, so I'm going to use this Glitter twin marker by Deco Time. I just really love Deco Time art supplies like their markers. And I bought a glitter one. I've used some of the glitter ones here. They are glittery, but my camera doesn't show that well. It's glittery in person, but you can't see it on camera. Can you see it now? I can. Can you? Anyways, let's decorate. Done. If you can see the glittery sparkles, that means you have the same level of eyesight as me. Right? Right? Never mind. 
What are we going to do next? We ask. I'm going to stitch on a door so it's like a cupboard. For the dining table, I made this removable piece. If I don't want that showing, angle the camera like this. This is not only a doll house life hack, but a camera life hack. I'm using my phone's camera, but still, can we move? And you just have this table. And this is the bedroom. Here you may want to put a lamp, but that's for another video. I'm not going to go through everything in it. I'm only going to cover the basics of how to make a dollhouse that saves space and is foldable and everything. Good travel stop motion animation scene and good space saver. So these were the basics of it. And how does that fold down? Like this, so you can store it flat and put it in your suitcase and it works if you live in a small house or apartment but still want a doll house. Bye Chef Jack, see you in another video, bye!